Hey Aquarius, welcome to February. Happy Valentine's Day. So this is your love reading for singles, couples, and those who are undefined, which could be an on-again, off-again relationship. It could be something not Facebook official. It could be you are in a friends with benefits situation. It could be that you are with somebody who is married to somebody else, whatever. Um, but I'm gonna start with singles, then I'll do couples, and then undefined goes last, just simply for the fact that sometimes if you watch singles and couples, um, certain elements of those might also resonate for you and then I'll put the link to each timestamp so you only have to watch your portion in the love video um, in the description box below. So singles, you're first. What's up Aquarius? Um, here's the deal. For single Aquarius, it's like in the recent past, you were like, okay, I got to get my shit together like outside of my love life. And now that I'm kind of doing that, I am getting really, really excited about what could potentially be coming for me in love. I haven't fully decided what it is that I want in a love relationship. I have not put like a ton of thought into manifesting the things that I desire. I just know what I don't know, want. I know what I don't want to bicker and argue about. And here's the thing is as a result of thinking about those kind of things, what you don't want and not fully observing the contrast and asking yourself, okay, what do I want in a relationship? You might be drawing in people who actually do want the same things as you at the end of the day. Like you might say, oh, I want a long-term relationship. And so you're bringing people in that also want a long-term relationship, but because you have that bickering and arguing kind of energy, you might have different ideas on how to achieve that. So the future moving forward then, unless you manipulate or change that energy, is a little bit of sadness and depression. Now, you're not going to be connected to or hooked up with people who are toxic for you, but you just might not be tremendously lucky in love. Now, should you get really focused and think about, okay, what do I want from relationships and being super assertive about that? They're saying that... Um, you are able to find peaceful resolution. You are able to start to draw in different kinds of matches to your life, but they're saying choosing a new direction is very imperative as far as um, your energy and what you're kind of radiating out to the universe. And so the action word with that is um, resistance. You have this resistance energy, right? You see this like ball of light around her? It's like this big... <laughs> ball of light that's like a beacon is shining out there drawing people to her but then as soon as they get there it's like oh nope just kidding I don't actually want love just kidding <laughs> and so they're saying the power of the human spirit should not be restricted and so you're putting up like kind of self-limitation for welcoming in a love sort of energy that is long term. You have to be super open to receiving love um, and then also attracting specifically what it is that you want. And they're saying some of you are just not completely emotionally balanced right now. You might be healing from something and therefore are kind of pushing love away because you're afraid out of fear. And they're like, this isn't something that you should be doing. Um, you want to acknowledge that fear and release it. They're saying um, any of you who are going on a trip in February or March, that might be a good time to actually meet um, out of the blue sort of this um, potential mate for February. But that's a very small portion of you. They say the rest of you um, are just not effectively manifesting what it is that you want into your life. Um, you might have a big list or a vision board of things that you want in a partner, but if you don't truly believe that you deserve them or that you can have them, um, then you're putting a resistance energy out against that. So things to be cautious or conscious of, okay? They're saying, yeah, because you are drawing people to you who want similar things, but they want similar things in a different way. They want to walk down a different path than you do to achieve those things, and um, that's just not working. You know, for example, you're attracting somebody who wants a long-term relationship, but you want um, the kind of partner who has the same religion or cultural background as you. And so you're attracting in all these people who want a long-term relationship, but there will be clashes with that, okay? Or um, maybe you're looking for a long-term relationship, you really want children, but the other per party doesn't. And so it's like, okay, you're part of the way there, but you're not all of the way there. Okay, so that's Aquarius singles. Now, Aquarius couples, what's up? Ooh, this is really cool. So in the recent past, it's kind of like, okay, I have what I want. I have my partner. I'm pretty satisfied with that, but now I'm bored. <laughs> and so things, you're kind of like stirring the pot a little bit. You want things to change, and this can be a very positive thing. 
but you have to be super assertive about what it is that you want, how you want things to change. Do you want things to be sexier? You have to verbalize that. Your partner can't read your mind, okay? Um, do you want things to be um, a little more low-key? Maybe you're going out too much and you want to have more Netflix and, Netflix and chill nights. You've got to assert that. You've got to be really, really clear in your speaking. Like I said, your partner can't read your mind. If you're hoping to take your relationship to the next level, um, you know, maybe you're committed to each other but you don't live together, for example, this is something you're going to need to talk about because it will come to a rapid conclusion. Now, um, I don't feel like you necessarily get to choose, again, kind of like how singles had if you watch that section, um, a ton of, you might not have like a ton of weight in the decision of how that happens. But it does look like things will happen for you. Now, there's this slight challenge energy about, um, you know, the day-to-day -day life and things being stable or routine, um, things not changing that you don't want to let go of. So at the same time, you're like a little bored and itching for things to change in a certain way. At the same time, you're also resisting change because what you have is comfortable. And so they're saying just taking it slow is a really good thing. It's okay if things take time. Don't rush things just because you're bored. They're saying because that might end up yielding a, a sort of situation that you don't actually want. And so your action word, what you should do to have the most optimal relationship possible in February is um, focusing on your determination. And so they're saying transcending any perceived barriers that you have, like your own fears, like any mindset that you have that makes you go, mm, well, here are the reasons why we can't do something. Um, no, there's no reason why you can't do anything. Like, very improbable things happen all the time. You know, um, for example, wasn't Oprah born in like a house that had like a dirt floor, like to parents who couldn't even read? Then she becomes a super successful journalist after everybody said, you can't write journalism. Like you're like garbage at this job. And now she's a bajillionaire and interviews, you know, the most elite people on the planet. So anyway, they're saying perceived barriers like it's all about your perception. There really are no barriers. Requires firm resolve and willingness to change. So this change that you're kind of asking for is not 100% reliant upon your partner to change or for you to change as a couple. It's saying change starts with you. And it starts with being super assertive and talking specifically about what it is that you desire, not about what you want, don't want, not about what you want to complain about, about what you want. You know, if you're saying, I'm sick of going out all the time. Um, I'm sick of always having spaghetti for dinner. No, it's like, hey, I really want to try a new recipe. Let's cook it together. Hey, I really want a night in. Wouldn't that be romantic just to cuddle on the sofa? It's, it's not what you say. It's how you say it with your partner. And this can bring a lot of happiness and joy this month for you and strengthen your relationships and help you to get the things that you want. Okay? Now, for those of you who are in undefined relationships, it's saying there's really nothing to worry about, but a very similar energy to that of the Aquarius couples where it's like, okay, I got what I want. Now what? <laughs> you know, like certain aspects of the relationship are very satisfying to you. And you're like, okay, now, now what? It's kind of that energy of like, hey, the sex is really good. Um, but now that that's done, get out of my house. You know, it's like, now what? I just want to watch TV probably without you. And so um, they're saying, you know, it's good that you're not in this energy of like over giving to somebody. Um, and it's good that you're really kind of putting yourself first in this situation. And as a result, you don't have that much to worry about as far as like if you're comfortable with the situation staying the way that it is. And they're saying that earth energy is very important to you, extending like, your root chakra deep into the ground and kind of harnessing that earth power, being very firm and saying, this is my expectation, this is what I want, and this is how I see things going. And you're not being bitchy, you're just, um, you know, advocating for yourself. And if you don't advocate for yourself, who else is going to advocate for you, right? They're saying that you do want to be in a relationship. It's not like you intend to push people away, but you don't want the anxiety, fear, or worry that comes along with, you know, certain aspects of super committed, like living together type of situations and stuff like that. And so um, I, if you're an Aquarius who's like in a polyamorous relationship, 
this would be like a really awesome month for you. Um, as long as you're open and honest about that with everybody that you're bringing in. Uh, so anyway, what they're saying is, yeah, not overgiving, but being super honest. I'm not surprised. And they're saying you could fall deeper in love as a result of taking that time and being super um, clear about what it is that you want, even if it feels unstable initially. Things kind of just balance themselves out as the end of February shows up and going into March, even through April. They're saying like your partner might have some resistance and say, hey, all of the stuff that you're saying, it doesn't fe seem fair to me. And you're just like, okay, well, whatever you don't like, maybe you should take an action on that. What is it that you do want, right? Why don't you think about what you want? <laughs> which is easier to say if you're already doing that though to be honest you don't get to say, sit there and be like um okay guess what asshole I'm sick of hearing you complaining if you're complaining all the time um so anyway they're saying a lot of you might not feel super confident in behaving this way initially others of you have totally mastered this so those of you who are afraid to do this it's because you're afraid of um feeling any hurt kind of energy or creating pain for yourself, feeling guilty. And they're saying, and this is going to confuse you a lot, but honestly, it's not really about that. They're saying you need to shift your perspective, right? Like who, who is your priority here? Like you need to care about yourself first and foremost, because otherwise you don't have a lot of capacity to love somebody else. And so this is like a a theme again and again and again coming up for these types of relationships. They say others of you, you're just not feeling the relationship anymore and it's time for you to be honest about that. They're saying if it's not making you happy, it's time to cut it out. What do we want to keep something around that makes us like irritated or sad for? You just don't. Okay, so um, that is your love reading. I wish that it was like super, super positive and I'm not saying it's not positive. Like the good news is you have the tools now to make it better. Um, but it might not be your easiest month ever. Uh, but good news is that that means easier months shall be coming, right? Love and light. Mwah! and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!